There is a large gate that opens to a wide road. Just inside this gate is a view of all that the heart desires. It boasts of many paths so that it appeals to all, but the way, however attractive, is the way of death. There is another gate that is smaller and far less appealing. The path is sometimes lonely and often challenging, but it leads to a perfect kingdom, one that lasts forever. Jesus warns, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. It is at this fork in the road that the traveler must decide his path. At first glance, the wide road is the most promising. He is comforted by the masses who have chosen it. After all, he thinks to himself, what bad can happen in the company of so many? But as he moves towards what seems to be the better path, his attention is drawn to an evangelist pointing the way toward the road less traveled. The messenger cries out to him in urgency, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through me. Then in further warning he adds, The way of life and the way of death are before you. Choose wisely. From where the traveler stands, the broader road appears far more attractive because of its many self-indulgent options. But he cannot shake the evangelist's invitation and warning. If the evangelist's words are true, by surrendering to the lesser path, the way of the cross, the way of self-denial, the traveler will find his life. But if he chooses to trust the vain promises offered by the greater path, he will, in the end, lose it.